Hey guys, I'm Matt. That's me, behind the giant hot dog. But more about that later. This is a story about six of us that went on a cruise, our very first cruise. When we set off, we had no idea what to expect, and I think it showed. So, what's different about this cruise than all the others? Well, we decided to document it all. We got permission from Carnival to record and live stream the entire trip, and I got my friend Zach to be the cameraman and come along with us. Oh, we may have also mentioned it once or twice on Facebook. Anyway, this is our cruise story as we lived it for seven days on the Carnival Magic. I was hurting really bad this morning. We may have went to the Vibe nightclub and drank a bit too much in a short amount of time. We got pretty drunk last night and I was definitely in no condition to be up this early. I got a bottle of water and tried to get ready to film, but I couldn't muster up the strength to go to the Cat in the Hat breakfast. I was nauseous and wouldn't really be able to eat anyway. I went back to bed to try to nurse my hangover. So Jeff and Zach the camera guy went without us. Three of you only? Huh? Three of you? Sure, why not? Morning. <laughs> morning. Morning, morning, morning. Okay, so guys, that's the menu. That's what the menu looks like, and then that's what the inside looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, they're here, guys. Reliving his childhood, the one he never had, Jeff was joined by Zach the camera guy for breakfast. Jeff was very eager to meet the cat in the hat and other characters. He had gotten pictures the night before with some of the characters. He really, really wanted them to sign it. Unfortunately, Sam's hands were a bit too big to grasp a pen, so Jeff never did get that signature. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Look at my brother. Yeah, but what's food? I know. Okay. I am there. Right? Hey, look at my brother. How are you doing? We got food. <laughs> <laughs> the gold coin. While I slept away my hangover, Jason and Jeff continued their day. Jason went and searched for the lucky coin which is hidden on a different place on every ship. The gold coin is the lucky coin which helps us on the main inverted. So as we have to see, the Carnival Magic coin is in between the sturdy neck and the twisted water slides. Here it is. Down there. 2011. Not only did Jason find the lucky coin, he found something much harder to find. Spencer. Yeah. Yep. So did you go to the uh, scavenger hunt last night? Yeah, oh my god, it was so much fun. It was freaking hilarious. I was wearing lipstick, high heels, a bra, and a purse at one point. <laughs> it was freaking no, we're, hilarious. We're, talk, we're talk, not talking about normal on the ship. We're talking about the scavenger hunt. No, that was that was the scavenger hunt. We had to like swap things and then run right up there like, and swap things that people were wearing. Oh, for 10 sure, ago. for sure. This lady, she was right next to me. She seemed so this conservative. Is this is a ship activity, by what you were talking about. She was so conservative, but then next thing you know, they asked for um, her underwear. She got that off so quick. And then um, she and her, her husband traded clothes, and then um, they says, all right, guys, I need, um, as quick as you can, um, a man in heels, um, a purse, lipstick, and a bra. Oh, right up here. I'm telling you what, I was wearing those high heels as quick as this. Oh, it's one. spelling. <laughs> but it was so funny. It really, really was. And oh, and Jeff the, won? 
Yeah. Jeff's team won. Yeah, they won. Jeff's team won. Jeff. For sure. Yeah. He Jeff. joined him a little bit later. He jo yeah, Jeff joined the team late. <laughs> to the left. The you Take <laughs> back. No. Wait. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Yeah, you went to the bathroom, right? That's why it's stunk right there. Do what? You went to the bathroom, you smell that? Here we go. You're such a... Can you oh. Bubbly. Oh. Can you get the key off me? Um, he should actually... He doesn't have a key, and you'll be able to... I know, we should, we should actually make him do it. Jason, I am not be throwing uh, something with you right now, because you are just throwing some fucking shade. It's the shade it's of our so life. Much jealousy. Not really. I'm prettier than you. That's what it is. He's jealous for sure. I'm just, it's the shade of our lives. Again, it's the, the real shade of our lives. Mm. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Look, Spencer. Oh God, wonderful. And yeah. Look what we have: debarkation stuff. Yes. Yay! Put this around yeah. here. Oh. Hang it. It need to be a lot bigger than that. Fuck out of here! Drive me crazy today. Oh no, wait, wait. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa! I don't trust you. Do not point that at anybody's face. Yeah, because I mean you can. I've opened a million of them before, yeah. and I still don't trust which way it goes. They walk away all over the clothes, and he shouldn't if he's not shaken. Or if he's just a dumbass in a bottle. Yay! Wait, you supposed to catch it! I'm a good catcher, what can I say? Oh, you're a good pitcher, I'm sorry. Okay. Half so, and what, half. Half and half? The master of all masters gets the For big sure, glass. that's his wine. Champagne. You are good. Ah. Where's it? Oh, I get the big one. Yes. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I thought that was for you. It's the less alcohol. Are you going to add? Oh, for sure. Here, um... I don't know if I should do orange or the guava or what I should do. Orange is better for you. I put some protein in it. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. oh Here's to Spencer's many adventures, both on the ship and off. Yes. <laughs> off the ship. What is happens in the ocean. Chelsea. Not, not really. He is on cruiseweek.tv. Oh. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. How many times have I caught you on the starting of the deck? The what? How many times have I caught him? I have not slept on my bed once. And you know what? Now that it's already the end, I have no regrets, and I probably won't tonight either because it's like. Good morning. Now, for your statements, the imbalance, you can use the user-friendly kiosk across uh, right there in the Magic Lobby, or the one across from the gift shops, the fun shops, OCS, and Dead 5. Now, speaking of the fun shops, at 11 a.m., I will be at the shopping party. That's right, Kalani Shop. 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 Be like you, because you missed all the three excursions in the festivals. Mm -hmm. I can throw some shade. So last day of our fun and exciting day on Carnival Magic. No. Where drinking is our top priority today. It could, it could be a comedy show. It could be a talk show about random facts. Like, that comedy show last night, Zach, was freaking hilarious. I wish so bad you had the camera in there. They were, um, they were, what it is, is that, like, they said it's anything that is already in this room or brought somebody with, yeah. brought with them. So that's where everybody was like, they're bringing this and that and this and that. So, Matt brought, a, Matt brought a banana. Okay, of all things. So I said to Matt and Zach, I said, well, I'm under the impression you have to bring something from your room. So I brought the rubber duck. Oh, God, I thought we could come back to my room. Where did the rubber duck go? In a photo of Santa Claus. Okay. Yeah, and I put him back in the room. Though, I think in the middle of the night. Yes, but it was also in a photo of Santa Claus. Continue. Was it really? Yeah. Okay. So. It's our talk show. So. Um, so I said to Matt and Zach, I said, well, what are you guys going to bring? And Matt goes, and he grabs this banana real quick, and he says, this is going to work out. And I'm like, really? Not really? Bring a so piece much. of fruit for, you know, like, okay, whatever, as long as you have your prop, whatever. So, sure as shit, Zach. They go out there, they say, it's, 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 it
let's not give away everything quite yet. So first of all, thinking, okay, we just said the comedy club. I thought, okay, well, it was a Showtime lounge with the big, by the, on the fifth floor. There's a Showtime lounge and a it's spotlight like, lounge, lounge or something. Yes. Like. So it's a little bit confusing. So it's confusing. So again, we locked all over the bar, all over the shit, over the bar. And we actually found it at the show, uh, the show place or whatever, the sh- whatever, whatever that one that. by the piano bar. We got in there and we saw our, our fellow castmate, Zach, uh, Jeff, on stage. With the balloon and the egg. Oh, this was call. hilarious. Let him explain. So what they're supposed to do with these balloons is uh, you somehow you get ping pong balls and you've got to fit two ping pong balls. Two ping pong, no, one, no, one ping pong ball and a balloon. You try to fit it in there okay, first. Okay, I thought it was two, but anyway, okay. at any rate, it's either A or, or two of them. But you can still try to picture just putting one into a balloon and yes. then trying to fill it up. He couldn't fill it up for life. But the point is, is that it was, because it was the adult comedy club, that was like... Um, the seed and uh, so you gotta keep going you go nine nine pushes on the air to where it looks like you're pregnant and then they said you gotta put it between your legs to where it looked like it was like this yep. and you gotta keep squeezing it until and then that was the person that won but also the fat also the matter guys Kim one of our viewers so hi Kim today if you're watching Kim us was awesome. Kim, Kim did was awesome. amazing she popped Kim up that baby awesome. so fast Kim was awesome yeah, but, but then Jeff got last though but, well, but so, he was the only man on the on. Well, we walked in. This wasn't part of the scavenger. It was we were walking in right at the end of a program. Yes. As we were walking in, they switched over to the scavenger hunt. Kim, now what it was, you had to be in a group of six to nine people. Yep. So Kim six linked up nine. with us. Yes. That's the guy we got the joke on. Kim linked up with us, and yep. then we found this um, Costa Rican couple. Let me tell you what. Had we not had Kim, had we not had the Costa Rican couple, we, lost. we wouldn't have gotten anything because it was so funny. They'd say, um, you know, all right, guys, put on lipstick and run up, you know, as yep. quick as you can. We're like, who's got lipstick? Who's got lipstick? You know, so we're sitting there going as quick as we can. We run up there. We would have been, yeah. Oh, for sure. So then um, they says, all right, guys, we need you to um, train clothes. You know, we need ladies' underwear. Next thing you know, this Costa Rican lady, it's a different culture. Yep. You know? So she's sitting there, she's going like this, and she's just walking herself. She pulls them up, she goes running up there with her underwear. And then uh, <laughs> her husband, uh, her husband or boyfriend, whatever, had to, they had to actually take off their shirts and change over. But Dr. E, and who was the uh, Chris uh, entertainment director? You know her name, right? Yeah. They both, said, they both said that hopefully you guys are comfortable with your body because you guys don't have to undress in front they're of like, us and switch clothing. They're like, look, repeat after me. I don't know these people. I'll never see them again when I get out of this show. I'm not going to talk to them. Yep. So what happens here tonight stays here. You don't exactly. care. So you had women getting down to the nothing. You would see everything. And then some of them, they got, and it was just a freaking riot when you'd see the guys going out there. The guys were wearing our high heels. Yep. We're running as quick as we can. We're wearing the lipstick and then we got our purses and everything. And we're going out there as quick as we can. I mean, it was freaking hilarious. But I do have to give props again to Kim. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But yeah. it, what, I don't think it props to Kim though. Oh, Kim. Her worm. Kim. Kim's worm. That girl, she went ham. She literally had to go on the floor and do the worm. And for like 20 was, minutes yeah. before they even like looked at her. Like yep. that was the thing. And then I had to go out there. You go on your knees and you bark like that. I'm like, hur, 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 hur. See, that's my job though. I'm the puppy. But I, I gave, you did really good though. You said to say that. But, but yeah. yeah. And the thing was rigged. I'm convinced. Dr. E, y'all rigged that because it was. Um, 6, 10, and 13. No, six, uh, 16, 3, and 10. All Every the time. single time. It didn't matter how many points that we had because we were eye to eye with a couple of them. Forget it, and they won. But also, we also get but dancing on the, the table. Trophy. But dancing on the table. Oh yeah. So then they say, what was the word? Um, 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 uh, something check. Something. It was score like, check. Um, a score yeah. check. And then everybody gets up and you and start, start dancing. Hey, like, hey, and then you're all on the tables. And, and, then, then, and then you get down, down, and they'll say, oh, score I'll check again. Hey. And it was so much fun. It was really, really fun. Since it was the last sea day and we'd be leaving in the morning, we decided to try to get things done on the ship that we haven't done yet. Of course, that meant the water slides. Jeff was super excited and still wearing his medal he won from the night before. Him and Spencer and Jason headed out to go play in the water. Now they caught me doing the walk of shame. Hardcore. They move their water spraying on me, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs>
first go down, it's like really slow. As soon as you start tipping and swirling, it's like it gets faster. The trick is, you gotta I, spin. If you wanna go fast, you gotta spin. I your went stomach. from my back to my side to my stomach. And the whole time you're in there, the only thing you hear is your own laughter. You don't even know why you're laughing. You're just. <laughs> Our final sea day and final day on the ship is turning into a lovely time. While Jeff, Jason, and Spencer are enjoying the water slides, I was enjoying some much needed sleep. I then headed out to enjoy the festivities, but that's for our last episode.